Hi guys, it's another video of my channel and today it's a very special day. It's Eid Hajj, so the day is we have to cut a goat or a camel or a cow. But I unfortunately cannot go to the Hajj because I'm still little, so I built this out of Lego the other day. You can see it right now. And I'll show you how I build it just in a second, but I'll tell you about this, okay? Starting off very easy, you already know what this is. So people go to the Kaaba and Hajj, and Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. And also um, this right here, the Kaaba, they go to that every year and they pray there. So I'll tell you all about all of this. So all of this is called Hajj. This is Safa and Marwa, Ibrahim's wife. Um, ran across these two mountains because um, Ismail, the newly born baby, he was out of he was out of water and he started to get dehydrated. So, um, so Hajar ran across these two mountains seven times to see water, but she couldn't see any water. But on the seventh go, there was a very, very big puddle, and that right now is called Zamzam water, and they drank out of that water. And also, we got some Zamzam water right here. So this is very holy water, and this water is what um, Ismail and uh, Ibrahim's right wife drank this water and that's why it's super holy so i got some and now it's turned into a well so they can keep it protected so i'm going to tell you the steps so step one people so they wear these special uh outfits because they have to be prepared Okay, you can see they're all wearing ikram because they had to get prepared so they can go here. But if you are not wearing it, you cannot go. So that's step one, humans. So they're going to walk all the way to the Kaaba. The third step is that they have to walk to Safa and Marwa. So... Okay, here's the mountain and they're going to run seven times. Okay, there we go. Five, six, seven. And number four is the tents of Minna. So it's just on the other side. So these are tents that you can go in. You can stay here for another day. Fifth step, Mount Arafat. So this is Mount Arafat. So they're going to climb it. Okay, now they're at the top. And I don't know what this mountain's for, so let me see. So we have this book and it tells us all about it. So let's go to Mount Arafat. So keep going. Um no, keep going. Here. So this is a place where Prophet Muhammad saw stood and delivered the fa farewell ceremony 
to the Muslims who had accompanied him for the Hajj towards the end of his life. So that's Mount Arafat. So the next step, number six, is Mustalifa. So let's walk. So it's right here. And this is where you stay here and you pick up one of these pebbles and you put your bad habits inside of them and you throw the pebble so you get rid of those bad habit habits. So you can do that until all your bad habits are away and it actually does work a lot. So now number seven is Jamarat. So here's Jamarat and I don't know what this is so let me research again. Oh uh, here, Jamarat. So the Jamarat pillars indicate the three places where Ibrahim was tested by the whispering of Satan to disobey the divine instruction that he had received to sacrifice his son. The pillars are not actually shaitan as some are led to believe and act of throwing pebbles as a symbolic um, renacement of the actions of Ibrahim as against the temperation of shaitan. I don't know if I said that correct but it's okay. So, so you know what this is, so Jamarat. So now we're going all the way to here, and this is today. This is what we're going to do today. So, we're staying here. This is the last part. This is number eight, and it's called Hadi. So, this is where you cut the goat. So, I'll show you how you can cut it so first you had to take the head off so you have to cut you had to cut his head off with the name of Allah so Allah so this is gone so now we can just cut it like that now I can just cut it in half there we go I did it so now I will tell you why we had to sacrifice the um, goat. So this is the story. Ibrahim, one night Ibrahim was dreaming of something and he was dreaming of, he had to cut, he had to sacrifice Ismail, his son. The next morning he went with Ismail up to the mountain and a few seconds before they were going to sacrifice Ismail, um, Allah sent down a goat so they could sacrifice a goat. So that's why we have to cut the goat to sacrifice it and then we give it to homeless people, people that don't have money so they can eat it and then they will be happy. So that's the story of why we have to cut the goat. Now after that long story I'm going to drink a glass of this Zam Zam water. So let me open it. <sighs> okay it's opened so now I'm going to pour it in. We have to be very careful because this is very holy water. That's about, that's about it. Now I'm going to do this and then I'm going to say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Now I'm going to drink it Alhamdulillah that was very refreshing And now you know how all of this works All the stories You know which You know how which one you do first and then the last one and if I went there I would be super happy but I'm not old enough yet about one more year okay and then I'll go I'll do a traveling video on that so now you understand how all of this works why we celebrate Id Hajj 
Some people call it in hand and they go to the hand when that's happening but it's very busy there because loads of people are Muslim around the world and there is so many Muslims and they really 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 want to go to the Hajj every day every every single day there is an angel there and if you are super super lucky you may get to see the angel and if you're even more lucky maybe the angel could follow you so that's why almost every muslim wants to go and also me but i'm too young so i'll do it in a year it's time for me to do some barbecuing so i'm going to invite my nanny and granddad so we can uh do it so now we're going to eat it now we're going to cook in three two one go